Hey guys, it's Asim Sharma, Training Manager from SolidFrame Consulting. Again, I do hope you're all doing well. Uh, today I'm going to briefly speak about uh, how to be opportunistic. So, essentially, how do we identify an opportunity which may be wrapped up in so many layers that you can't even identify or realize at, at the beginning that this is an opportunity in disguise? And how do you approach it? How do you deal with it strategically? So whether you're working in the public, private sector, or you want to progress in your education, whatever the case may be, you want to get to the top. You want that promotion, you want to grow, and you want to do it within a reasonable time frame. Some people are just in a rush to do it, and some people you know, take it easy, but then again, you don't want to become apathetic or complacent, do we? So let's, let's first of all consider a scenario. Um, when I started uh, in my old job, uh, I started off, um, I had actually applied to be an agent. So let's let's rewind a little bit, um, a brief um, trivia about, about myself. So um, I had arrived in India some years ago and um, I was not looking to do any civil service uh, thing. I mean, over here there's so many competitive exams and I, I just didn't want to go through that and I'm not even sure whether I'd clear them. Uh, we don't really have that in, in the UK and many other countries, that, that the assessments are different. But anyway, so I decided to look for jobs in the private sector and I couldn't find anything else in the beginning. I was applying for agent jobs and I had been made offers by some good companies but then at the time, uh, owing to either documentation issues or just circumstantially, I was not able to join. Uh, then there was a company that uh, I had already applied to and um, it's, it wouldn't have been my first choice. Uh, maybe, I mean, it was to do with the, maybe the ranking of the company and the remuneration, a few factors, right? Uh, but I applied there again. And um, uh, the interview was interesting because the HR asked me some questions which uh, I felt were a little inappropriate and I asserted myself. If you remember, there was a video that I had done about um, assertion. So I think she asked me something about how much my parents earn and I said, hang on, are you interviewing me or them? So, of course, <laughs> that was maybe a little blunt, but, you know, I, I got the point across. I said, I'm not answering that question. So, you know, my selection should be based on my caliber, not on what my parents do. And again, that may be a slight cultural thing because, you know, abroad generally people don't really bother what your background is. They want to know about you. But anyway, let, let's put that aside. Uh, I, I cleared, um, and it was for an agent role, but what was ironic is um, during a communication round, and what was to be, what was going to happen, uh, you, you'll see how this fits. Um, the, one of the leaders said that, look, you speak well, would you like to be an interviewer? Would you like to assess people on their English language and their communication skills, rather than being an agent? And I thought, well, this is a good opportunity. Yeah, why not? Uh, so I took it. So, you know, my path was going in one direction and it took a tangent, but in, in a positive way. So that's an opportunity. Okay. Uh, I didn't have to think much about that. And then I, I was on contract and as my contract ended, then I thought, what do I do? I started seeking opportunities within the same organization rather than looking elsewhere. And then I became a trainer and that was a very valuable experience. And whenever a project, a new project would come up, uh, I would always try to find out, I would be proactive, take that initiative um, and say I want to be involved in this and make my suggestions. So normally trainers would you know, take batches and train new people and audit existing agents and you know, be involved in quality and that kind of thing. I broadened that and I invited much more work for myself but it made me more versatile. So I said okay, I used to interview people before, I want to continue using those skills. So as a trainer, I want to interview the people that are going to be absorbed in our process so that we don't have to deal with uh, people who don't have those skills to be able to speak over the phone with customers and that makes our life harder and then we have to be answerable for why we're not able to train someone who sometimes is just not trainable. So I, I took on a lot of things, right, and um, it, it made me quite a, a versatile resource. Um, and I became popular generally for the right reasons, which was nice. Uh, and I was involved in marketing as well. So what I'm trying to say is being opportunistic, not all the time things are going to be presented in front of you. Sometimes you just need to have a look at what's happening around you and see where you can get involved in. And by doing so, 
uh, it opens up a lot of doors. And sometimes you need to be prepared that you'll fail because you know you've signed up to do something which no one was really asking you to do. But I don't think we should fear failure. I've I've failed at many things in my life, but uh, if if I kept kind of you know sulking about those things all the time, then um, I wouldn't be here today. Let's let's just put it that way. And we are going through very tough times right now, so we need to be as positive as possible. So to summarize, uh, if an opportunity comes your way, just make sure to identify it. Not all the time it'll be absolutely blindingly obvious. And number two, try to take the initiative and, and seek those opportunities and make people aware that look, you are driven and that you want to do something. Of course, you don't want to be hyper all the time, otherwise people, you know, that may just freak people out. But you people know that your your intentions are good and you want to grow and you want to do it in a sustainable way. Anyway, I hope you found this uh, video interesting and useful. For further tips, please do subscribe to this channel. You can also find us on FB, Insta, LinkedIn, and also Telegram. I do look forward to meeting you on our courses. If you have any questions, please do ask uh, in the comments below. Thank you very much. Please do take care and bye-bye.